You know, it's it's one of those things where we talked about with our team how tough the Valley is going to be, and, and especially for our freshmen, and how the elevated intensity level um, compared to what they've been playing in the pre pre conference season um, is going to be a lot different. And, and they definitely got a taste of that, uh, especially going up against Missouri State, who's a uh, very gritty team, very well coached, and and play great at home. Um, and for us to to come out of there with two wins is a is a very good thing. And uh, but you know the positive for us is that w there was a lot of things that we learned um, from from the weekends. Um, first thing is 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 we got to take what we're doing in practice to the field. Uh, offensively, we struggled this weekend. Um, you know we we didn't score in the first game. In game two, we had a couple of big hits uh, from Anna Variano and, and Alyssa Buchanan and some home runs. Um, and then we were able to squeak through a couple other runs in that second game. But in, the, in game three, it was, uh, you know, runs were, were difficult to score. And I think that's going to be a theme throughout the Valley season with the pitching that we have in the league. But we got to do a better job of getting our best swing off. And um, yeah, we're taking pitches. And a lot of times we're taking pitches that we're not looking for. But when we're getting our pitch, we need to get our best swing off. And, and we didn't do a very good job of that this weekend. Um, but the positive was we were still able to find a way to get two wins. Um, Alyssa Buchanan pitched great for us in game two, and then we were able to uh, finally make a good pitching change for as, as far as timing goes. Uh, she came in and got us out of an inning and then finished the rest of the game yesterday and, and really kept Missouri State's bats in check, which uh, you know was a great thing for our offense. Number one, we talked about it um, in the, in the pre-conference season where we weren't doing a very good job in game two. We might have came out and scored eight runs and run ruled a team in game one or played really good and won a close game in game one. And then game two, we just kind of were flat. So it was great to see them uh, answer you know, those conversations that we've had about you know, in the Valley. Game two is probably the most important game of the, of the weekend because you're either coming off of a win and you get another win and you, you, win, the count, you win, win the series right away. Or a lot of times you, you lose a close one in game one and then you've got to bounce back right away. And, and find a way to get game two to give yourself a chance on Sunday. And to see him do that and execute it was great. Uh, I think it'll help our younger kids. But uh, you know, um, just experiencing those those tight games where you know one play can go, you know, the game can get changed really quick. So for them to be able to understand like the importance of making sure that you understand the situation and everything, because it doesn't matter if it's the first or the seventh, there's going to be a play that determines a lot of the outcome of the game.